All right, so my table saw cabinet is pretty much done at this point, but I wanna go one step further. I want to outfit the drawers with custom inserts to uh, hold things like the blades and uh, some things that I use to make jigs with. So that's what we're doing today. All right, so this bottom drawer is where I plan to put the saw blades. I wanna be able to stand them up in here and I want them to tip back just enough so that way they're not flopping back and forth when I wanna open and close the drawer. And then uh, to build the support structure, since I made it fairly tight, there's not a lot of extra room in here, so I can really only come up about halfway before I get into the curve of the, uh, the blade and not have enough room for any more structure. So I think my structure needs to be about five inches tall. And then to tip it back, I have an angle finder here. All right, we'll just zero that guy out. And then, Just going to tip the blade back to an area about what I think it should be, something that looks comfortable to me that I can live with. So I think that's about there. So we're 116 degrees. All right, so when I'm pulling blades in and out of the drawer, I want to just be able to reach in and grab a blade and not scrape my fingers down the blade behind it because that, uh, that would suck. So I just want to reach in and grab it quickly. No messing around. I want to stay nice and efficient. So I need to be able to just know how much that space is. So I'm gonna say that space is about two inches. All right, so let's, uh, let's go build this. These are my side rails that are gonna slide down inside the drawer and I'm gonna cut saw curves in it to hold the hardboard dividers. Now, they need to be mere images of each other. So instead of trying to make sure each one matches at it the right angle and right spacing, I'm gonna set up a jig and cut them at 90 degrees this way, and then I'll taper this board so that way it tips all the blades back at the same time. And with any luck, everything should line out perfectly. All right, so I have a bunch of this eighth inch hardboard left over from uh, past projects and jobs, what I've used as uh, templates uh, to template things as I've gone. So it's an eighth inch thick. So a full curve saw blade is about an eighth of an inch as well for most manufacturers. So that fits on there really nice. So this is what I'm gonna use to cut up to act as my dividers between the saw blades and it'll be held in place with a saw kerf in the material. All right, so I got my jig set up and I've zeroed out my tape measure here so it will be a two inch increment as I move this thing so I don't have to stop and measure from the blade to this each time. So it's zeroed out, ready to go. And then I'm starting in about three inches in, even though I want them to be spaced out uh, about two inches so that way it gives me room to cut the angle on the end. All right, so obviously the closer you put these curves together, the more blades you could store. So I had a design change mid cut and I decided the last half, I would space them out about an inch instead of two inches because I have some blades that I keep and only use once in a while, very rarely. So I don't really need quick access to those guys. So I uh, tightened up my spacing on the back half to store those blades that I don't use very often, but the blades that I use a lot I'll keep up front to where I can just quickly grab without having to worry about scratching up my fingers on the blade behind it. All right, so let's uh, figure out our uh, angle here. So since I'm just winging it here on this design, I'm realizing that original angle is gonna be really steep and also cut up way too much material and I won't have as much support as I wanted. So I've modified it a little bit to be a more shallow angle for the blades to tip back. I got my tapering jig set up here to make those cuts. And then since these need to stay book matched, 
I'm gonna cut one with the uh, kerfs facing up and the other one with the kerfs facing down. All right, so these guys are the exact same length. And I'm just gonna go back an inch and a half here. All right, so with a nice sharp pencil, I'm just gonna set the front to the front of my drawer. And just mark my line and that's where I'm gonna set my stop to. All right, so when I reach in and grab, I don't want to be fighting the divider. So let's make a jig. All right, so there's my router table jig. Flush cutting bit will go along there. And so I'm not taking a huge ginormous bite at the router table. I'm just gonna put one of these guys, or each one of these guys in the jig, and then cut that waste off at the bandsaw and then flush it up at the router table. All right, so we're finished with this jig. All right, so the last thing we need to do since these guys uh, go wall to wall in the drawer is cut a notch uh, for this to slide into here. So I'm gonna mark my depth and then measure this distance and that's what I'll set the fence at at the bandsaw. All right, so I got a stop set up and I'm ready to cut. All right, so I'm just gonna let uh, friction hold these guys in. I'll put some finish on it later, but right now I'm gonna do a test fit. All right, since these are smooth on both sides, I'm gonna go one this way, one that way, one that way, one that way, all the way back. All right, so since we're just building this thing on the fly, I think if I were to redo this, I would space them one inch apart because since I'm flipping these back and forth, that gives plenty of space to get my, my fat fingers in there without getting hung up on things. So these guys that are two inches apart, I mean, that's a lot of space. So yeah, that's definitely comfortable, but also wasting uh, a space in between. So uh, if you have ginormous uh, gorilla hands, this might be a good way to go, but this is just fine back here with the one inch spacing alternating the dividers back and forth. If I were to redo this, I would space them one inch apart. Probably won't ever change this for 10 years, but I might. All right, saw blade drawer done.